Good morning dear students let us have a look at this question from G advanced 2020 this question is from the electrostatics chapter so let us first analyze the question a circular disk of radius capital R carries surface charge density sigma equals to sigma not into 1 minus small r by capital R so this is a circular disk of radius capital R and the surface charge density on it is given by sigma equals to sigma not into 1 minus small r by capital r okay so let us just see this question here where sigma not is a constant so this sigma not here is a constant and r is the distance from the center of the disk so r is the distance from the center of the disk electric flux through a large spherical surface that encloses the charged disk completely is phi not so let us have a look at the spherical surface so this spherical surface encloses the whole disk and the electric flux through this surface is given as phi not electric flux through another spherical surface of radius capital r by 4 and concentric with the disk is phi so let us have a look at the spherical surface which is concentric with the disk and uh, which has radius r by 4 so the electric flux through this spherical surface which is of radius r by 4 is given as phi then the ratio phi not by phi is dash so we need to find out this ratio phi not by phi now let us calculate the flux through each of these spheres as shown in the figure the flux equals to charge enclosed divided by epsilon not so we can say that the flux is proportional to the charge enclosed so the value phi not by phi equals to charge enclosed by this whole disk so this is phi not through this sphere so charge enclosed in this sphere is equal to the total charge on the disk so the total charge on the disk we are writing it as qr divided by charge on this part of the disk okay so this surface is enclosing this charge here so charge on this part of the disk we will write it as qr by 4 let us now find the charge on the disk as a function of small r where the small r is the distance from the center of the disk as the charge density here on the disk varies with small r it is not constant it is varying with radius so we need to integrate to find the charge on the disk as a function of r to start the integration let us cut this disk into many concentric rings so we have cut this disk okay we have cut this disk into many concentric rings and we can say on each of this ring see these are very thin rings i have drawn it uh, with a dimension so that it is easy to visualize but these are very thin thin rings okay we can say that the charge density on each of this ring is the same okay the charge density on each of this ring is the same and we'll find charge on one ring and sum up the charges on all the rings let us get a better view of the rings so that the visualization becomes much easier so let us consider a ring here of radius r and thickness dr so the charge dq on this ring here okay this ring here the charge dq on this equal to charge density which is sigma times the area of this ring so the area is the circumference which is 2 pi r into thickness which is dr i'm writing this sigma as sigma not into 1 minus small r by capital r so i'm just expanding this here so i get a dq equals to sigma not 2 pi r dr minus r square by r into dr 
Next, let us integrate this to get the charge from 0 to R. So whatever is the charge enclosed in this, we will get that. So I'm just putting an arbitrary limit, small r, and we'll put the limits according to what he has asked in the question. So Q as a function of r, we get as sigma naught 2 pi into r square by 2 minus r cube by 3 capital R. See this sigma naught and 2 pi are constants. So I can write Q is proportional to r square times 1 by 2 minus r by 3 capital R. So r square have just taken outside common here. As flux is proportional to charge enclosed by the surface, we can directly write phi naught by phi equals to, see phi naught is the flux enclosed in a surface of radius r. So phi naught equals to r square into 1 by 2 minus in place of r capital R by 3r. The flux phi is the flux enclosed by a sphere of radius capital R by 4. So we'll keep that here capital R by 4 whole square into 1 by 2 minus capital R by 4 divided by 3R. So simplifying this, we get phi naught by phi equals to 6.4, which is the answer to this question.